Are you ready to learn how you can earn a passive income? I'm going to share four different ways. The important thing is that you understand what a passive income is. It's not something that you're going to put together and in 30 days you're going to start making all this money. It's something that takes hard work, persistence, learning lots of skills, and then once you put something together, the business, and get all those certain systems in place, then you can start to earn that passive income. So it's work first, rewards later. And it's kind of how most things are in life. Now you can pay for your passive income by putting in time. There are some different passive incomes that require a huge amount of time, or you can pay with money. There are some passive incomes that you just invest money and you reap the benefit. And we all know that, like something like the stock market. You don't really do anything but invest. Of course, you need to take the time to understand what you're doing or find somebody that does and pay them. But we're not gonna talk about real estate today because I know nothing about it. I'm the last person in the world you wanna talk to about real um, uh, stock market. Um, first of all, I wanna talk to you about affiliate marketing. It is. I think the most amazing way to make a, a passive income, that's my favorite way, it's how I make my money. And the thing is though, with affiliate marketing, you wanna, you make your passive income with recurring products. And here's the difference. If I start selling products in affiliate marketing, let's say from Amazon, I can get an affiliate marketer contract with Amazon and I can go in and sell any of their items. So I could start a website and start promoting different items all over the website. Let's say you're into beauty and fashion and design and clothing and things like that. Or maybe into baby items or pets. You know, you pick your niche and you build your website and you start selling these products. You don't have to create the products you don't have to buy the products so that you can resell them you just sell them for amazon and once somebody hits your link they go to amazon they purchase the product you get roughly six to ten percent of that sale and you might say well that's not a lot of money but it is when it starts adding up and remember you didn't have to go develop that product you didn't have to store it produce it all those things that happen in between you don't have to do all that amazon's already done it you're just recommending or referring products that other people have created. Now, that per se is not so much recurring because you're selling products and they're like one-time sales. However, if you sell something that is recurring, for instance, like um, a software, like ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is a landing page software and people have to have a membership to use that software and they need that in their business. They pay $97 a month. You sell them that product, you get them to sign up as a membership and you earn 40%. And they pay month after month because they need that tool to, for their business and you continue to get that recurring commission. And that's where the passive income comes in. Another way, um, email marketing. Everybody needs an autoresponder. Most autoresponders like Active Campaign, Sendlane, Aweber, they all have recurring commissions or recurring memberships. And if you're an affiliate with any of those companies, then you re would receive that uh, commission. And they're recurring and that's what creates a passive income. So you have to build up that business where you have your systems in place and they're running automatically and you don't have to keep running them. So that's how the affiliate marketing aspect works. Number two is with a YouTube channel. Now a lot of people say well, that's a hell of a lot of work. It is in the beginning. It does get easier and easier as you go on and actually it's a lot of fun but you create a YouTube channel. Now you might say yeah but to get monetized, it's a lot of work and you really don't make a lot of money, people say, um, once you get monetized. I, I, I don't know about you, but I could use $4,000 a month. I hear people say, oh, $4,000 a month, that's not much. Um, we're not trying to become millionaires here. We're trying to make passive income and be able to relax in our retirement. And if your retirement happens at 35, great for you. Um, or you'll be 60 when it happens. But the point is, you make your YouTube videos. They're on a platform that stay there. They're evergreen. They never disappear. And it's all built on a search engine. You put search engine optimization, you put certain keywords in to help people find your videos. YouTube will look at that and say, oh, somebody's looking for this certain shampoo and maybe this person over here has a beauty channel and they talk about beauty and shampoo and things like that. Maybe that was a keyword and they connect the two of you. Um, maybe you're into uh, pets. Uh, maybe you're selling different um, pet um, items for dogs or something like that. So your YouTube channel may be all about dogs and different things and different items that they can use that YouTube will connect the searcher and your video together now 
in your video, you may talk about some certain items that they're looking for, like the shampoo, and then you put a link below. Hey, if you're looking for this, I have it below. That is evergreen. As long as that shampoo is still available, and I'm just using that as an example, people keep looking for it, that will stay there forever, and you'll keep making money. You can leave for two weeks, you can leave for a month, and all your videos just keep running. Now, I'm not gonna say they're gonna last forever and ever, because obviously things get outdated, but I would, I would give it a good four or five years after you're finished creating it. I um, was watching a video of a woman who was talking about how her business built and how many years it took her. And she said, I had something from, now. T right now this video is 2019. She goes, I had something from 2013 pop up, an affiliate link I had put out there and it, I got a sale. And she said it was from six years ago. And she goes, and I actually forgot about it. And she had kind of dropped out of the business because she wasn't making a lot of money and thought, well, this isn't for me. And she said, that's what got her her excited and got her back in the business because she's like oh my gosh this works it is evergreen it does stick around the other neat thing about YouTube is you can go back and recycle those videos so you just heard me say they might get outdated but there are ways that you can go back you can refresh the thumbnails you can add to the videos you can't really take the video off and put it back on per se you might as well make a new video but you can go back in and change the keywords you can change your description you can spice it up so you can recycle videos that you've made. I've done that. When I first started, I didn't really um, know as much as I know about the keywords and, and certain other aspects. Um, so I've gone back and sometimes I'll just here and there take some time and go back and refresh things and add those different components that I know need to be there to help them be found. Um, so the two ways you make money with YouTube is one, you get monetized where people will run their um, ads on your video and you earn half of the money that that person paid for the ad. Um, I was just watching a video, one um, YouTuber was saying that she makes an average of $8,000 for a thousand views, or $8. $8 for like a thousand views. So you've done nothing. People are just watching your videos and you're getting paid for it. That's passive. Number three, this one is becoming very, very popular and it's memberships or group coaching. Now, I want to put some caution on this one, calling it passive. I personally would not want to pay. Let me tell you what it is first. A membership is, let's say you start a Facebook group membership where it's closed and people have to pay 10 all the way up to $100 a month just to be in there, to get your content. You've been around a while, you know some good secrets, you know how to be successful, you've got um, you know, tips that you might want to share, not give it away for free anymore. And so you might even put all your training in the units inside that membership, or you might have a membership uh, page on your website, and the only way for people to get in is to pay. Now some people create it where it's stagnant, and it just stays there, and people pay per month to come in, and you, it might take you a year to get through all of the training. So it's kind of like a big platform with lots of courses and lots of training, and instead of buying the courses, you're paying for a membership. I personally, when I pay for a membership, I want the person to come on live and I want to see that that person's still there to support me. And I'm in a group now myself where the person comes in once a week and they do a live and they always have questions and answers. And that's the kind of group I like. So it's not 100% passive, but it's passive enough. If that's all you had to do was go into your group once a week and be there to answer questions, that's pretty passive. So Again, you have to um, figure out how you want to run that yourself. The other one is a lot of coaches, people have, who have offered their services to coach uh, new entrepreneurs, they find that one-on-one -on -one coaching is extremely time-consuming. And yeah, maybe people will pay $15,000 or $10,000 to you to do that, but it still is extremely time-consuming. And most entrepreneurs, at least most of the people I know, want to get to that point where it's more passive and not so time consuming. So one thing you could do if you really enjoy coaching is have group coaching and have people pay to get into your Facebook group. You can hear my dog back there, sorry. Uh, earlier I had another one that came behind me and was doing his business. I had to start the video all over um, right out there. So things happen. Um, anyway, in the group coaching, you could have maybe 15, 20 people in that group and it's a whole group coaching and you could handle it that way and maybe people pay and then you're active coming in maybe once a week or twice a week, whatever you decide. It really depends on what you're charging. If you're charging premium prices, then I think people are going to expect more from you. If you're charging $10 a month and they come in and look at stuff that's already set, 
you know, that, that probably is doable, but it, it, it is to an extent passive. The last one I have to share, and this is the one that I also make money from is email automation. That's email marketing. I actually have a free course below. If you want to find out what email marketing is and how to set it all up, I've decided to make a free course because that's something that I would have wanted when I was first starting. Um, there's so many terms and so many um, different things you have to learn that it's hard to know where to spend your money when you're buying courses. So this is free, you know, then from there, you know, figure it out, see if it's something you want to do and then spend money on something a little deeper. Um, but what you do is you basically create an, e an automated sequence of emails and you get them yourself. You sign up for something. Uh, somebody says, oh, here's this free ebook and you sign up and you give your email list. Well, then you start getting emails and nine times out of 10, they're trying to sell you things. And some of them are annoying if people don't know how to do it right. And others, you're looking forward to it and you can't wait to get it. I have one person I get emails from and I actually can't wait to get them because they're so full of encouragement and content and I'm actually learning a lot. And when I go to buy something, that's probably the person I'm gonna buy from because they've given me so much for free and I know that they're not doing it just for the money. So basically what you're doing is you're creating a relationship with people through email sequencing and you're creating a situation where they will get to know you, then like you and trust you and then buy from you. And that's what email marketing is all about. You basically could set up a sequence of four to six months long. You can go a year long if you want. And people just keep getting those emails. I send mine out about three times a week. Um, I, I try to send them out like in the middle of the week and sometimes I only send two but two to three a week and I have mine set up for four months as of this point I'm still building it but people coming in I always stay ahead of them and I just keep building that sequence now the neat thing is with with email automation you, you might say yeah but everything is sitting there and it's old what if you have new things to share that's where you can go in and build little segments little campaigns and you might um, target people by their interest um, it's all in the course how you can tag people by interest and, and make other sequences. But let's say I had a lot of people come in that um, I have a YouTube course and maybe they came in and, and watched the YouTube course. So let's say I had um, a more in-depth course that I made. I'm just using this as an example that I'm selling. So I might go back to everybody that went to the free course and say and do a campaign and say, here, you know, now I have 15 modules that I made, everything you need to know to get started they might buy that course because they benefited from the free course. That's just an example. So then I can push that and only do that campaign, maybe five to 10 emails and I'm done. Maybe six months down the road, I'm going to do another push, another campaign for the same thing. And it makes it more current and live, if that makes sense. So you still have the, the ability to be current. You don't always have to have everything um, pre-made. So those are four ways that you can earn a passive income and you can work outside just like I am if you want to you can um, pretty much build your own schedule you know when you work for yourself and you work from home I don't think most people care about the work it's the freedom to work when you want to work it's the freedom to be productive when you feel most productive if you're not feeling well you can go lay down um, just having that flexibility of your own time it's like taking your own life back that's how I look at it so I'm not afraid to work I love to work I do all kinds of things I'm always productive but I feel um, restrained when I have to go to a nine-to-five job and I have to sit there I don't know how many times that I have been sitting, you know, when I was younger and I was in a job, I, I thought there was something wrong with me, but I'd be sitting there watching the clock. Like I had to sit there till it was time to get off, even though I didn't have anything to do. You know, my boss, you know, I got my work done. I was that kind of person. And I would just sit there and wait. And I, and I just thought that was the dumbest thing in the world that I have to sit here. I'm done everything I was supposed to do. And now I got to sit here and watch the clock. It even happened when I was in education. I, I would take my work home. I always had everything set up and I'll never forget, you know, there was this one job I had, I got everything done, so I left. You know, the kids were gone, I left and the, the, the lady that was in charge of the union said, well, you have to stay here till 3.30, you can't leave at 3.20. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but it's okay that I took work home. It just, just little things like that aggravate me about being in a position where somebody else is paying me and I have no control over my own schedule. So that's what 
this passive income, working for yourself, working online does for you. You get to work when you want to work and you get to, to plan your day and plan your own life. You get to take your life back is basically what it is. And you get to make as much as you want. There's no ceiling. You know, just because you, you know, sometimes we have a job and you work harder to somebody else and they're making the same amount of money and that can get aggravating and you're like, I'm pulling all the weight. So now work as hard as you want, accomplish whatever you want and there is no ceiling. I didn't mean to go off on a tangent like that, but I, I just want to encourage you, if this is something you're thinking about, do it. Do it. It is worth it. And don't forget to get that free course below and subscribe. I will have a video almost six days a week right now um, for you and to help you build your business.